Hello? Hello, how's it going? Yeah, good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, good, thank you. That's good. All good to go? Yep. Uh, um, hi, Mark. I'm Anna from AAP. Um, yep. Yeah, I guess, how are you feeling? Start of a new season. It's, I guess it's been such a bizarre year. How's it been, I guess, getting up and about and ready for this new one? Yeah, no, looking forward to it. Obviously, um, you know, we've worked, uh, you know, pretty well in pre-season. We've had a few um, friendly games against good opposition. Um, but, yeah, the real test starts now tomorrow night. Um, Derby at home in front of our home fans. Um, you know, really looking forward to it. What do you, I guess, what do you expect out of Newcastle? Um, you're very familiar with them, obviously. What... You know, they've been a bit of a talking point this season. What are you expecting in a derby first start? Is it going to be a fiery one? Yeah, I think so. Um, obviously, like you said, it is a derby. Um, you know, we won't underestimate the Jets. They still have, you know, <clears throat> plenty of quality across the park, um, even though they've lost a few few key players in, in some key areas of the field. Um, so, yeah, they're definitely not, we're definitely not underestimating them. Um, it's going to be uh, a tough game, obviously, round one. Um, you know, we'll be looking to get off to a good start and um, take all three points. Very it's hi, mate. It's Marco Monteverdi from News Corp. Um, for yourself, personally, how big's this year? Like, I was just saying to Alan before that, um, you know, like, there's been a bit of movement with the goalkeepers around the league, but uh, you decided to stay at the Mariners. Or like, you know, like, I thought you might have you might have even gone to like Adelaide at one stage. What uh, what made you stay at the Mariners, and how important is this is this year for, for you? Yeah, look, it's an important year, not only for myself personally, but for the for the club itself. Um, yeah, reason why I decided to stay here on the Central Coast was obviously a lot. You know, the plan moving forward. Um, you know, there's um, you know a lot of high expectations. Um, you know, my family's happy here. Um, you know, we love it here, and I think the club's going in the right direction, um, you know, and something that I definitely want to be a part of. What is it, Mark, that's made you go, the club is heading in the right direction? I really like where things are tracking. Like, is it the vision that you've seen? Is it the development of players? Like, what, what is it that you've really enjoyed seeing that has made you, I guess, keep the faith and want to keep going with this club? Yeah, a bit of everything. Obviously, we've got a lot of young, young kids coming through. Um, you know, with the foreigners coming in, hopefully they can add a bit of quality, in, in, you know, in the team. Um, but, yeah, just the whole environment, the whole vibe around the club is great. There's a good feeling. Um, you know, all the boys are upbeat and positive about the new season. Um, obviously, we came back the last year post-COVID, um, you know, in three games that we played. You know, there are a lot of positive signs. And like I said, um, you know, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. You know, the vision of the club, it's something that I wanted to be a part of. And... Like I said as well, my family's here. You know, we're quite settled here. We love the coast. And, um, yeah, hopefully we can have a, a big season and, um, you know, push, push in the top six. Mark, you had that full season last year. You got games under your belt. Yep. In terms of your, like, career, where do you think you're at? Do you think at the Mariners, like, I guess you're maybe, you know, among the experienced senior, senior, senior players now, do you like that, having that bit more sort of responsibility? Yeah, obviously, you know, one of the older players in, in the team. Um, obviously, I'll be 30 years of age, um, you know, in April. Um, so, yeah, part of the leadership group with Ollie, Kai and, and, and Simo. Um, you know, it's a, it's a good leadership group. Um, you know, obviously, I try to pass on my experience to, to the younger boys in, in, in the playing group. Um, but, yeah, obviously, I'm 30 years of age. You know, I played every game last year. Um, you know, hopefully I can, you know, build on my performances uh, from last year. You know, I still have a lot of areas in my game that I want to improve on. Um, you know, I'm always learning and, uh, yeah, hopefully, um, you know, prime for a, a big year and um, see where that takes me. Mate, what do you think of the goalkeeping ranks around the league? There's been a few changes this year. Some younger guys are getting a chance. I think that's good. Yeah, I think so. Obviously, there's a lot of a lot of good young goalkeepers, you know, in the league that, uh, you know, have been struggling for game time in, in previous years. Um, you know, young James Dalianov, you know, perfect example. I worked with him at Melbourne City. 
he's got an opportunity now at um, Adelaide United and, you know, he was fantastic in his game the other night. Um, you know, big shoes to fill, obviously, after, you know, Paul Izzo leaving. Um, you know, Tommy Glover as well, another one, Oli Roo. Um, you know, he's done fantastic since he's come in. So, Daniel Margush, another one as well at West Sydney yeah. Wanderers. Obviously, big shoes to fill. Danny Lopez, obviously, leaving the club. Um, but it's good to see these young keepers getting a run and, you know, um, showcasing what they got. And, you know, it's, uh, it'll be an exciting exciting time for, for the young goalkeepers this year. You know, they've been given an opportunity and, um, you know, it's up to them now to, to take it and, um, you know, move on with it. Luke Byrne here, Mark from Coast FM. Just wanted to get your thoughts on the stop-start nature of the start of the season for yourselves. You had nine games in the first six weeks to start off. Now you've only got, I think, four in the first month. So yeah. tell us how that preparation sort of changed for you guys as a team as well. Yeah, obviously we are preparing for a big schedule. Um, as you said, nine games in a short amount of time. Um, you know, so we were prepared for that. Um, yeah, it is what it is. Um, you know, this is... Uh, this is the way things are. We can't uh, we can't uh, do much about that. But um, you know, we'll, we'll be in training every day, working hard. Um, you know, that's that's all we can do. You know, we can't. Uh, you know, we can only control what we what we um, what we can what we can. Um, you know, it is what it is. Um, like I said, you know, we um, will be coming in day in day out, working hard on the training pitch, and you know, making sure that. Um, Everything from our point of view, spot on. So when we go into games, there's no excuses. And just the change in goalkeeping coach. Obviously, now you're working under Peter Zoyce. Just tell yeah. us about how that's been over the last sort of two months. Yeah, Zoyce has been good. Um, obviously, he um, spent the first couple of weeks in in quarantine. So um, now that we've got him here, you know, it's it's fantastic. Um, you know, we enjoy working with him. Um, you know, he's got some great ideas. His intentions are fantastic. So, um, you know, I feel that, you know, working with Zoysi, he can, um, he can definitely take me to another level. Barry, do you still want to head back, um, head back overseas um, eventually or are, you, or are you happy in the A-League? Oh, look, of, of course, I'd like to go back to Europe at some stage, um, you know, but... Uh, Look, my main objective, my main goal this year is to have uh, have a really good year with the Mariners. Um, you know, like I said, I'm happy here, but look, I'm still young. I'm only 29. I'll be 30 in April. Um, you know, I don't want to set long-term goals. Um, my main goal at the moment is to focus week in, week out and, you know, perform as best I can and help the team as much as I can. And, you know, if I can do that, the rest will take care of itself. But, um, yeah, like I said, you know, I don't want to set, you know, long-term goals. Um, the main objective is to is to, to play my part for the team this year. Mate, I know, you, I know, I know that you've been being at the club for all the past five sort of seasons, but... That that you know you guys have you know sort of struggled in terms of ladder spots and finishing last of um you know like a, a few times. Yeah. So sort of how much does that hurt? And like you know, so sort of how much are you guys keen to like you know change out this year? Yeah, of course. Obviously, no one likes to finish last, and you know this club has been in a in a difficult uh, period the past couple of years. But you know, fresh year, you know, fresh new faces in the team. Um, you know, we've got, uh, you know, Ollie coming back in, who's a, who's a Central Coast boy. Um, you know, with these foreigners that we've got coming in, obviously they're in quarantine at the moment. Um, you know, hopefully they can add a bit of quality in the team. And like I said, um, we'll be doing everything we can this year to, to getting things right, um, move the club in the right direction and, um, yeah, push up the ladder and, you know, finish top six.